Hi, you guys, and welcome back to the Legendary channel. It is me, Song Classic, and I am... Oh, I'm a little rusty girl. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's welcome... Oh, my God, wait, hold on. Hi, you guys. Okay, let's be gender neutral, because everyone is not a guy. Dumb Almost made you love me Almost made you cry Almost made you happy, babe Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Me Tone Classic. And this video is going to be a little different. We're just going to like chat with the pop culture, like shoot the breeze, girl. We're going to shoot the breeze, baby. So stick around. We got drinks at the bar. Please drink responsibly, girl, because we do not cover Ubers or taxis home. So girl, like, hold your liquor. This is a mocktail because I am expecting. The reason why I have not been making videos is because, baby, it has been hot. It has been a hot girl summer. When I say it's been hot girl, I mean it's been the type of hot where like as soon as I step outside, I my whole body is immediately covered in a light layer of mist. And you know, that's just not that's just not my tea, girl. Like I, I wear like tight clothing and stuff. And girl, like I can't wear my tight clothing. I can't really do too much at all because I'm a big I'm a big black man. I'm a big girl. And I just it's just too hot. It's been too hot to do my makeup. This little room where I shoot my YouTube videos in, girl, the air don't really circulate in here like it needs to. So it's just, it's been very like 40 days and 40 nights in a desert, like very biblical, biblical heat. But today happens to be a cool day because it's raining. And so, you know, I just decided to come on down to the lounge. Come on down to the lounge. Uh, uh, come on down to the, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't need to touch on my lip gloss. First things first, let's get into Nicki Minaj, Eric and Tay, and um, Jonathan, the monkey owner. Jonathan owns like two monkeys, y'all. <laughs> He owns two monkeys. They're very cute. They do. They both do hair. Eric and Tay and Jonathan have both do hair. Can we get them up on the screen, please? Thank you. We have them up on the screen, as you can see. I guess Eric and Tay has been doing Nicki Minaj's hair or whatever. Like, he, you know, he been, he been getting her together. Because she used to have her hair done by Kim Kimball, girl. But that was the whole situation. Because Kim Kimball got into it with Tokyo Styles. Because Kim Kimball had Nicki Minaj looking a mess on the BT Awards, girl. That's either here nor there. The point is that she has updated her style and glam team. And Eric and Tay has been doing her hair for quite some time. I guess that there was a miscommunication. Or Eric and Tay had canceled, girl. Because he had to get some teeth pulled up out of his mouth. Nicki Minaj had to do her little Instagram video, her little flipogram to promote the song with ASAP Ferg and Made in Tokyo. It's just a lot. But here's what I'm gonna say. I know for me personally, I'm not releasing no songs or nothing like that. Or you know, like I'm not, I'm not doing anything that calls for me to be looking drop dead gorgeous, you know, like that. However, if I needed a haircut just so I could go up to Taco Bell and get myself a five dollar box and my barber could not give me that haircut because he was not responding or he canceled on me at the last minute or whatever the case may be, Girl, I'm going to, I'm, I have another barber, I have two or three other barbers on my phone, girl, and I'm going to get my hair cut. What, like, Nicki, like, I've seen, I'm seeing all these comments about how, you know, Nicki Minaj, like, she's wrong for, you know, going and getting her hair done by another stylist, a stylist that her main stylist particularly does not care for. Girl, I don't have anything to do with that. If my barber cannot cut my hair, and I have to be looking good for an event, or I have to be looking good just because I want to look good when I walk up in this Taco Bell and get this $5 Chalupa box, girl, then I'm gonna go get my hair cut by somebody else. There's been times I've gone in the barbershop because I had an appointment and my barber, like, just, I, girl, I don't know if he miscalculated the time or what happened, girl, but I show up and then I'm like, ooh, ooh, just, I'm just, am I next? And he's like, oh, I got three ahead of you. And I'm like, oh, you got him? Okay, excuse me, are, is your chair open? Thank you so much, sweetheart. I'm getting in this man's chair right next to yours because I watch him every time you cut my hair, I watch him to make to see how he's doing in this event in case something like this happens so i'm gonna get in his chair you'll be good without this little 20 dollars because all you was finna do was go get a five dollar get a 5.99 6.99 box of chicken you was finna get the whiting dinner with the two pieces of bread the french fries and a lemon pepper that's what she was gonna use my money to go do so you can skip out on this little 20 dollars girl i don't think Nicki minaj is wrong I, I, did, I did think the whole thing just kind of played out kind of messy and unprofessional, girl, because it just did not need to be brought to Instagram. From what I saw, Eric and Tay's the one who brought it to Instagram. It just was very unnecessary, girl. It's not giving me, like, professional realness, like, style seat tees. It's not giving that at all, girl. It's giving very much, like, Craigslist, hair ad, very much, like, hair in the garage, girl. Like, unlicensed esthetician, esth 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 esthetician, girl. Like, it's giving me, like, kitchen beauty, Gina's beauty shop, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think that for the girls, like we need to elevate a little bit. We need to elevate, you know, and start maybe like, that should have been an email, girl. 
That should have been an email. That should not have been brought to Instagram. Beyonce dropped Black is King. I have not seen it yet, so there's not a whole lot that I can say about what's going to what is given. But I have seen a little bit of the clips, and I am planning on using my best friend's Disney Plus account to watch it. And from what I've seen and what I'm seeing now, it's just it, it, it's it's upper echelon. It's upper echelon. It is not great value. It is name brand. Um, it is the moment, and it is. Um, ethereal it is ethereal and it is just outdone everything that has been done before now i'm not pressed like i was a few weeks ago i was kind of pressed i'm not pressed no more because i saw that there was a budget there was a budget so like i'm not pressed girl i'm living for black is king and beyonce girl i'm just excited to see what you do girl i'm not i'm not pressed no one else is doing this so it's like i can't be too critical because no one else is in this lane right now dasha polanco was caught and dragged through the fire to the limit and to the wire by black twitter after making a tweet referencing how i guess like black like black culture or like black people are just like not standing up for diversity as it pertains to like the Latinx community, like black people are just like worried about black people's issues and stuff. Girl, I don't, oh my God, I, oh, hold on girl. Let's just get the tweet on the screen to see what was said. If it's only us speaking up on it, no one cares. It's the silence from those that fight for equality, but only their equality. Diversity, but diverse enough to include thyself. That mentality of, as long as I'm good, I don't see a damn thing. Honey, she tweeted that and the girls on Twitter came through dragging her by the pant leg of her orange is the new black jail jumpsuit girl i mean they were like still dragging her so don't pick up the okay i've been kind of honest and critical of how like people just are always in attack mode on twitter i think tw twitter reminds me of just like one big high school like everyone is just trying to bully everybody and pick on everybody however after analyzing her tweet a few times and rereading it i kind of was just like okay i don't know that i don't know that this was necessary i don't know that what i don't know that this needed to be added to the conversation girl like i don't really know what you're trying to add to the conversation um <laughs> And then she kind of tried to like backtrack, but not really. Really what she just should have said is like made an apology. You know, she should have apologized and just been like, you know what? I did not say what I meant to say. And I am sorry for that. You cannot be pulling the card of like, y'all took what I said out of context. Maybe the girls did take what she said out of context, girl. But I read it a few times. Like Dasha, Dasha, is it Dasha or Deja, girl? Is it Dasha? Is, is it Deja? It's not Deja, girl, because if it was Deja, you wouldn't have said that. Mm. Regarding the Latinx snot uh, in the Emmys, it was not shading our black community. Okay, I don't really care. What I will say is, um, I do think that it's unfortunate that the Latinx community, like, is it Latinx? I know it's Latinx, girl, but I like saying Latinx. Latinx. Because you know, Latino, Latina, Latinx. I don't know. I just like saying that. I do think that it's very problematic that the Latinx community was snubbed out of the Emmys. I do think that that is an issue. Um, I do think that that is something that should be addressed. Um, I do think that, you know, girl, it gets to be a really layered conversation when you start talking about minorities and like advocacy and allyship across, you know, different ethnic groups because honestly, no tea, no shade. Everybody is just trying to fight for their lives, girl. If you don't have those identities that make you a privileged person, especially in this country, girl, everybody's just trying to fight for their life, girl. Everybody's trying to fight for their life, honey. Everybody's trying to get like milk for like their kids, girl. People are trying to get school supplies for their kids, girl. People is trying to like get, like rent a house, girl. People is trying not to go to jail or get shot by the police. So, you know, no tea, no shade, but you know, we you, you can't like put this burden on an entire community to like, save you you know and not to say that we shouldn't be like caring of of each other and what is happening but we also have to be respective of like what is happening girl in each individual community i live for when the hispanic community rallies behind you know black issues and stuff like that but if they didn't girl I, it would be no shade for me because girl they have their they have so many things that they're fighting against themselves like in terms of like citizenship and equal rights and girl like homophobia exists a lot within the hispanic community like it's a lot it's a lot you know and so girl we cannot just be like 
lumping problems onto the like if you want a community to advocate for you girl that was not the way of going about doing it and that's just all i gotta say about that jess hilarious was caught out after reenacting a clip of megan Thee stallion's getting shot girl megan Thee stallion got shot in her in her foot by tori lanes the rapper which is crazy girl but you know, Megan Thee Stallion got shot on her foot, her both of her feet actually, and girl, everybody was on, everybody was making jokes about it. I did make a tweet that was basically just like, I don't get why we're laughing. Like, I don't think that this is funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, like, I don't think that that's funny. Like, to laugh at somebody getting shot. I just, black women getting shot in their feet, girl, like, that's just not funny. And so, I don't know, I couldn't understand why everybody making jokes about it. Miss Just Hilarious, girl. I mean, they didn't cancel her so many times. I don't, you know how I feel about cancel culture, girl. Like, I don't really care. But, like, I do think that this was in very poor taste. Let me move my bang to the side real quick. It was in very poor taste, girl. It just wasn't, it wasn't, it's, hmm. You have to be very careful about the jokes you make as a comedian, even myself. You know, I do like to provide the girls a little bit of comedic relief sometimes. But I, you have to be careful what you say. Um, you have to be very careful what you say. Some jokes are bad jokes, some jokes do not land. And that was just an inappropriate joke because I feel like her, as a woman, you would not want nobody making fun of you if you got shot by a black man. You would not want other black women laughing at you. Everything is just like not a joke, girl. Like everything is not a joke. Like that's that's the tea. Like everything is just not a joke, girl. So like just hilarious, girl. Everything is not hilarious, okay? Just like, let's not, let's not. Bossy Santana dropped his music videos and his album. And like he, he promoted his album with like a lot of little clips on Twitter. I don't know if those clips are part of like music videos, like if he has a music video for every song or if they're just like, like mini clips to like promote the singles or whatever, but I live for it, you guys. I live for Santana because we don't have one of those. We ain't have one of these yet. You know what I'm saying? And <coughs> ooh, mm. oh my God, girl, the drinks are really strong tonight. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm just. Ooh. I just think it's so great that you know this black femme queer man with his Chanel bag is just like. <clears throat> Like he just knocking everybody out the way, girl, and he's just making a lane for himself. And I think he's also clearing the way and making a lane for a lot of other LGBTQ entertainers to like come into the industry and just like get their life. I think he's really just like, kind of like paving the way, I do. And um, he's just, girl, honestly, he's just like so outlandish at times that it is just everything to me. It's like, you just are being yourself and you just don't care. And we need more people to do that. Because we got a lot of people that are scared to be themselves, girl. A lot of people are scared of being themselves and you know i'm all about self-expression and being yourself his latest music video he had the girls he had the girls in the video girl like he had like a lot of a few black trans women that are you know kind of instagram popular on instagram um and social media he had them in the video girl and i thought that was just fabulous because it's really kind of like putting like a face and putting faces to the cause he also included a message about how black trans lives matter and how they should be incorporated into the black lives matter movement because black trans lives are black lives and he had the girls in the video too and it was looking good so shout out to santana girl that's all i gotta say about date if you like this little top five video whatever please let me know because i can do more of these i can make more of these um this was just kind of like something fun girl to get me ease back into the ease back into the video mode girl because it's just been so hot it's been hot, girl. Let me know what you thought in the comments, okay? If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post new videos on the network. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sound Classic and check out my fashion lifestyle blog at www.soundclassic.org. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.